Welcome to Canada. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We drove to Chicago. We caught our flight. We flew to Minneapolis. We made it on time. We got on our next flight. We made it to Saskatoon. We got to the counter and we acquired a rental car. And there are thunderstorms developing to our southwest. And it feels wrong to not look, right? Right. A little vorticity hot pocket on the Alberta Saskatchewan border. Let's check it out. Coming through Rosetown on Highway 7, almost 4 p.m. local time. So I got some storms going up to my west, probably an hour away. It's Chris Almas with a weather update. Windy conditions continue this evening before dying down later on. And make sure to watch out for that severe thunderstorm as the low as 11. Not much to see in the distance, but we're on the Canadian Prairie. There's a lightning bolt. There are storms organizing down near the Alberta Saskatchewan border. Some intense storms from my west all the way down to the southwest and then south of me, but it's like these showers and I guess storms. So we're seeing lightning popping up in front of it. So it's just a lot of haze at the moment. and thunder, even if this is as good as it gets. Thunderstorm on the Canadian Prairie. Even if this is as good as it gets. You might think after traveling all day, why would I travel more to look at clouds? Well, this this is so much better than just sitting at a hotel all day.
And then this is your risk of thunderstorms. It stretches from Saskatoon to Winkler, but it's really closer towards that Manitoba, Saskatchewan border. Could get into some large hail, strong winds, and we cannot rule out a tornado or two as well. Edmonton, after this um, uh, batch of wet weather, it looks pretty good. Calgary risk of thunderstorms on Thursday. Winnipeg, there's your. I don't particularly want to go out in that. <clears throat> it's like 59 degrees and raining. Wonderful day to go to an outdoor ag expo. I've switched from the nice leather shoes to the outside in the mud shoes. So we'll see, the low is just like spinning over us. I pull up radar here. Here's Saskatoon, if I animate this. This isn't a washing machine. So Saskatoon's here, this area of rain's moving in. There's like cumulus developing up here. Look at the surface winds. Southerly, southeasterly, easterly, northeasterly. And <laughs> comes around this way. So anyway, I guess it's not impossible. We could see a little funnel today. I'm going to head just northeast of town, northwest of town up to Langham, where the farm site is, where they're having the Ag in Motion event. I got to speak in two and a half hours. Hopefully it's not like this much longer. I'm going to make my way over in the rain and hope it stops. <laughs> It's like 7.30 on Wednesday, July 19th. I was just too tired to do much updating yesterday. I did the, the expo site. I did not end up talking to the crowd there. It was a rainy throwaway day for the most part. The place was a muddy disaster, to be honest. Um, I was glad to have worn these shoes. Uh, anyway, I did my talk in the evening spoke at 8.30 local time, which was 9.30 my body's time the day after traveling. So I just was totally in zombie mode, but it seemed to go well. I uh, just got back from the grocery store. <laughs> Wanted to actually get some food in the room. It's like, you're here for a week. I can't just go to a restaurant or the restaurant, like in the base or the whatever, the first floor of the hotel and be spending like 20 bucks every time I want to eat something small. So. <laughs> I just woke up this morning and I was like, I still don't feel very settled in here. But I think trip to the store for some coffee, some produce, water, a couple quick microwave meals, chocolate in honor of my dog, oh Henry, some yogurt, some water. What is in the base of this bag? Oh, my room key. I was like, are they giving me some kind of card? All right, so it's 7.30, got a little work to do. I'll head to the expo site at like 9.30. I speak at 11, I don't really wanna play it close. Just explaining myself here, day two. I'm ready to document again, feeling human. <laughs>
Got some storms going up to the north. Check it out, a cumulus with a Pileus cap on it. There is actually some pretty crisp convection going up here today. It is warm and muggy, uh, but there's not much else for things to work with. Not a lot of upper level support, no real shear. So we got storms that are going up hard and then they kind of just collapse. But that can sometimes create some fun scenes and all I've been really wanting is a little thunderstorm on the prairie. <laughs> been wanting to spend some time in some canola. So here I am, I live in this canola field now. Me and these cumulus clouds, we're holding it down. It smells really good too, like, it's a subtle sweet, but when you've got that much of it, it's nice. So it's been a cool few days. Got in on Monday, went for our little prairie chase. Not quite as photogenic as I had hoped, but still cool to be out observing storms on the prairie. That rain continued on into Tuesday, which was the first day of the big expo here. So I wanna say they got about an inch of rain. And if you look around, this is not something you necessarily want an inch of rain on while you're trying to host a giant expo outdoors so the site was like a disaster area on tuesday everyone was caked in mud shoes were caked in mud there were puddles everywhere they're still drying up they needed the rain but could it have happened on the weekend yesterday was really great i kind of felt like some carryover from the travel like zombiness yesterday um, the talk in the evening. Tuesday went okay. I humbled myself immediately. I got up in front of everyone, put my presentation up on the screen, and I'm greeted by the low battery indicator up in the top right of the big screen. I was like, oh, oh. I swear I was plugged in before I came down. So we had to walk and talk and get the charger and get it going, and we persevered. Uh, and then yesterday, no technical difficulties, just a normal old weather talk. Thought it went really well. I wish I had more immediate good news. Well, I guess a lot of people who were here, you know, we got some rain, so the spirits were a little higher, but it's been a multi-year drought here on the prairie. And as we head through the next few months, there's no obvious sign we're gonna flip to a real stormy pattern. I mean, there will be thunderstorms. That's what I was gonna kind of say is the, the kind of, the good thing is it's not as bad as it could be. You know, the ridge is further south over the Southwest US gonna allow some heat to come up here to the prairie but they won't cook the crops and there will be you know ridge riding thunderstorms at times so the nature of summer precipitation is some are gonna be winners some will be losers and it's really gonna be not until we get to winter where we can really uh, you know hope for a pattern that's providing rain across you know entire provinces for several days or, or maybe snow and then the same thing down in the Midwest we've been dealing with this drought it's the same pattern has created this dry pattern, uh, the same jet stream pattern, I should say, uh, created the dryness from the Canadian prairies down into the Corn Belt. It's, it's you know, we're, we're sharing the drought in the Midwest with the folks up here in the prairie. And it's the same situation where we'll get ridge riding thunderstorms, but there will be more dry days than wet, and there will be stretches of heat. We're really gonna feel it back in Illinois 
as we get to the last few days of July. So we've got the rest of the afternoon to do here and then we are free this evening. We're not doing a formal dinner or a talk, so we'll get to explore Saskatoon a little bit. And who knows, maybe there'll be a thunderstorm on the landscape, but flying out 7 a.m. tomorrow, wheels up, so we'll be at the airport by four just to make sure we get through everything. Is that a little tiny? There's a little tiny lowering under that storm base. in the polygon. behind me. Beautiful. I'm tired and I need to eat and we got an early flight to catch so I think that's it from Saskatoon. All right I lied one other stop I could not help but notice that my hotel is like right by the airport and so I was looking at Google Maps like is there a road at the end of a runway so I can watch some takeoffs and landings and there is so I'm just like at this gas station uh, but the end of the runway is right here and there's already a jet taxiing so let's go watch a couple planes take off maybe here we go so there's the rental car I've been driving here's the airport
sweet. That was cool. Two for one. Looks like another little plane down there trying to take off in a minute. 